Hey guys, what's up? I'm sorry for the noise. My kids are playing games. But today I figured I'd hop on and play with some new goodies. Things that I've sneak peeked for the brand. Bunch of them. Including bunnies. And some drugstore things. And I purchased a few Jacqueline Hill items. So um, let's just get started. I'm going to prep my face. Oh my God, I'm a mess. Look at me already. Two seconds in. Actually, I'm just going to go in straight with concealer. That's, can I zoom in? Nope. I suck at life today. What have you guys been up to? Let me know down in the comments below what recent makeup sneak peeks you're into because I've been super into buying tons of new makeup, especially spring makeup lately. I get so like green around my mouth. Does anybody else have that? So I'm using my BH Cosmetics brushes and some Too Faced concealer. This stuff is so good. I also purchased a drugstore concealer before a trip I recently had and um, it's just vanished. I don't know where the hell it went. I figured today we'd do some weird shit. So. Like, I feel with a few dots of this concealer, you really don't need foundation. At least I don't. My skin's pretty unproblematic. I do have some, like, scarring spots that are red. Oh, let me know in the comments down below which of our new re newest releases you're really excited about because I think the highlighter palette is the one that I am most excited about which is called low light and it's funny because when I came up with this didn't even come up with it I was searching on social media and I was working on the project for bunnies with the artist Miss Uspacey uh, Miss Upacy. I could be totally butchering it I'm sorry and um she posted a picture and I, I fell in love with it and i was like oh my god can i please 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 use that for the brand and she said absolutely of course and um from there i built a color story i knew i wanted to do something that was low light because of the artwork that's on the palette like the way the low light is hitting the character so I was inspired by this for the highlighters and inside all of the highlighters are duochrome chameleon. They do shift and they are formulated specifically to work on all skin tones, especially deep skin tones. So that's super exciting. I know that um, a lot of my deeper girls out there struggle to find colorful highlighters that don't leave like white cast or anything like that. And these are specifically formulated not to do that. So that's pretty cool. I'm debating whether I should do powder foundation today or liquid. Do I want to go full on glowy? Let's just do a little bit of powder foundation. I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay. My kids are so loud. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Welcome to my life, guys. I'm trying to record a video over here and you're so loud. You're screaming. Hello. <laughs> Please. Keep the volume down. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate you. Can I stay here though? As long as you're silent. Okay. So that they could hear me talk. I'm recording. Hey. Shh, shh, shh. Hey. Hey, Mike, you want to play the Okay, then I'm going to. You know what? I got one of these Jaclyn Hill, but this is more like a blush, right? So I guess my Anastasia bronzer. 
<laughs> Save me. And if you wondered why I don't have tons of videos up, there's your answer. <laughs> So this looks really crazy at first, but then I work it in. <laughs> so then I'll go back with my foundation one with the powder on it and then work that in. And it becomes so much softer and more blended. Avery, no, out. Avery, please. Thank you. All right, I think that's good. I normally don't fuss that much over my foundation. Um, and then I have this Jaclyn Hill blush here that I haven't tried yet. And I got the deepest one because something about berry tones completely draws me in. Um, so I'm going to go in with this purpley shade. Be Rouge. I think it's Be Rouge. Oh, that's pretty pigmented. It's legit just like tap once. Wow, I look so pink. <laughs> Let me just go over that a little bit with um my powder. doing it I'm recording um, then I'm gonna just spray so I don't look dusty okay and then for the eyes I'm gonna dip into the strawberry milkshake palette I don't know what to do first let me put a little bit of whip which is the cream shade my brow bond And then I will take a little bit of Juicy, which is the darkest burgundy shade in the palette. Whatever. <laughs> this is really just for fun anyway. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of Topping, which is our like, it's a sequins formula, so it's matte, but it has some shimmer inside. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit and use that to buff out the edge here. Getting there, we're getting there. looks pretty good. I'm undecided on whether I want to use strawberry milkshake um, on my lid, like the shimmers, or if I should do something from the Bunnies palette. I think I just might do something from the Bunnies palette, so we have a little bit of everything. Let me see. I don't know if I should go in with... You know what? I'm going to go in with Clear Skies, which is like a multi-chrome blue. It doesn't have a lot of base tone. It's really more of a topper. Um, let me just use my finger. It's so funny because it's like blue 
I don't know if you guys could see the shifts there. Wow, yeah, that captures it really good. On my eye, it's just completely turning green, but in the pan, it looks blue. <laughs> Looks really good on the lid. Right. Then I'm gonna go in with a different brush and take a little bit of butterfly, which is more like a matte blue shade. You take a little bit of that out here just to deepen it up a little. I can't wait for this palette to be ready, guys. I'm super excited about it. Okay, now I'm just gonna go back into Strawberry Milkshake. And I'm gonna take Juicy, which is the darkest red shade in the palette, and just run that outer edge here really blow it out all right I think I'm gonna take ripe from the strawberry milkshake palette which is like this metallic pink shade and just stick that right onto here okay now I'm gonna take golden egg from the bunnies palette golden egg is a um like gold to green dual chrome multi-chrome actually it does shift a little bit blue let's see if i could show you on my finger it's a green green, gold, orange. There are some moments where it looks a little blue. I'm just so messy with my makeup today. Then I realized I didn't really put on brows, so I'm gonna put some brows on. I'm using my Anastasia Brow Definer. I just like to fill in these gaps that I have there and that's it. All right, then I'm gonna put on some mascara. I got this Big Ego mascara from Tarte in one of my many subscription boxes. I don't know which one. I think it was BoxyCharm. It's all right. I guess the only thing, it's nice that it doesn't get really clumpy, but you really have to like, Looks like it'll take a couple coats to get there. What's your favorite mascara? Right, so I just went and I popped some lashes on and now I'm gonna do some highlight. So I'm gonna take the low light palette and I'm gonna try to highlight different areas of my face with different shades so that you guys could see that it is workable on all skin tones. So I know when you look at the palette, the shades look very um, pigmented and scary, um, but I swear you could use them. The only shade that I couldn't really use on my skin tone is Meteoroid, which is this guy down here. 
but I love to put it on top of my lids. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Extra Terrestrial, which is a green. And that's this guy right here. And you guys could see just how pigmented that is and how I could use it on my skin tone. Pretty cool, huh? I probably should have went a little bit softer. <laughs> um, and then on this side, I think I will go in with Low Light, which is this shade right here. And then what other color could I could I try to get some use out of? Um, could I use Comet, which is this beautiful, it's got like a pink sheet shift. I know in the pans these look similar, but this one is a very wearable shade, like a daily one, and this one has more of a shift to it. Is my camera picking it up? I think you'll be able to see it there a little better. You could probably see that a little bit better now. There's like this crazy shadow behind me that scared me for a second. <laughs> okay, and then Laser Beam is another one of the super deep shades from the palette. Hold on, let me just go ahead and take my powder brush a little bit out of there. Um, and it looks like it's like a, a teal type of shade. Actually, there it's shifting very blue, but I mean green. In person, it looks a lot more blue. It is really pretty. And the, this shade would look gorgeous on deep skin tones too. Then I'm gonna take Synthwave, which is the lightest one, the most wearable one. And I'm gonna show you on my nose. I look like a gloss ball. <laughs> um, and then just for video's sake, I will take Meteoroid, the shade that I cannot use on my cheeks because of the shift. Um, and I will put it on my lips to show you. This looks so pretty when you have like some chapstick and you just pat some on top. And this color on deep skin as a body bronzer or like a body glow. Oh my God. Straight up Beyonce legs, I swear. Um, and then I think I'm gonna, you guys already saw what the lip color looks like. So I'll go ahead and just top it off with some, what is this? I think this is Maybelline Color Sensational and Chocolate Lust. So I'm just gonna work that in with my finger. These are so pretty. And I think I'm gonna try to go on top of it again with Meteorite. Yeah, that looks pretty. And that's it, that's pretty much today's glow bomb of a look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know which palette is your favorite down below and thank you for stopping by.